to another reaction video this is a reaction video from cj the champ and we're brought to our attention that we have the most disrespectful moments in anime history this has been a episodic type deal right now this is the latest one number seven we will be going over all of the disrespectful moments but we're gonna work our way backwards which is kind of a little tough but hey and let's recover all of them that's all that really matters no more wasting time let's jump into it all right disrespectful moments let's see what you talking about bruh but then she'll go ask, yo, where's my homie at? Oh, yeah, your home dog that look like Brock. Yeah, young he blood. He got horns got on him. Right here. Oh, my God. What? He waiting for you in the gulag right now. <laughs> hey, oh, nigga, where you going? I want to make a deal for the OnlyFans. Hey, come back. This dude. See, it's already crazy, already. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for yet another installment of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. The series that we observe some of the most outlandish, violent, and disgusting acts to ever be committed, oh, and Lord. something that we don't even talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the hell? freaky ass because they keep on asking me to put this in here. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get started, man. Okay. All right. First up is a actual three in one. So, uh, the Tempest Federation violating the church. Now, a lot happened during this. Okay. Week, but the amount of disrespect dished out by these three specifically is just absolutely disgusting. So they ended up pulling up on these fatherless bastards because they came okay. back to get it back in blood after they ran up on their village the first time. And these dudes deserved every last bit of the violation that got served to them. Like, you really thought you was going to spin Rimuru's block and walk away from that bitch unscathed? Nah, nigga. You signed your death papers and you are a fucking opposite. Position, a dead one at that. Oh, it's on a Brock looking motherfucker talking shit to Akuro. <laughs> and see, here's the thing Bro walked into his own death. You want to know why he walked into his own death? Why he Simple. walked into it? You should know to not f with old niggas in anime. I know, oh, right? My boy, you I know. Are from our world. How do you not know this? You should know that the old heads are always cracked. And then you see yes. him standing like this, looking like, oh, why, hello, there's. He is not lying, boy. He is not lying. I would not. I'm, I swear to you. Hell, I don't even mess with the old. I don't even mess with the old dudes out here in the street. Cause they brought. They know better. They know something that we don't. They've been through years of wisdom. Come on, man. They know. They've been through it all more than we do. That's why you got to respect your elders, yo. For real. That's one of the main reasons why sunny wonderful weather we're having today isn't it nigga you gonna die so then unk start looking at him like you know sunny i really can't oh shit he opened his eyes generation you see back in my day we didn't have pussies like y'all all y'all do is stay inside and scroll on that sell your device what is that y'all be on oh, it's caught tiktok you fucking boomer Uh, you can't oh my god i've cringed before father time catches up to me so he starts fighting Hakuro and he takes this little nigga to school Unk started blocking all of his attacks and he hasn't even moved from the same he haven't even moved in. and he looking at him like well come on sonny boy you was talking all that shit and now look at your dumb ass you're Damn. baffled aren't you you dumb fuck nut he pissing in his pants <laughs> You, you prehistoric boomer so then kyoto starts blitzing him with this all-seeing eye and this is where this idiot shot himself in the foot. So exactly he started weaving all of his attacks and then he looked at his dumb ass and said oh you think you're fast youngin my eyes have already caught up to yours boy now let me show you speed water he gone form 69 Chris water slaying ah! gone fatality Unk wins. This Damn. Rose head clean off. 
grabbed his head and said, uh, now see, look, your youngsters move too fast. You want to use all that acceleration bullshit. Bro. And look where I got you, headless. <laughs> your ugly ass probably never even got head yourself. What a sad life. Now use all this extended time you gave yourself to think about your actions. Yes. So after the first fatherless idiot has been taken care of, we cut over to the second one. So this man Shogo fight big homie Geld. So obviously Shogo <laughs> talking home. shit like the fatherless bastard he is. But little oh did he my know God. he was about to get adopted. Because this man Geld was about to sun his ass. So bro started hitting him with that rock. So then he started screaming and saying, Fuck you, you fucking pig. Really? Pig? I'm a really? racist ass bastard. You know what? I should chop your balls off. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, big homie. I'll give, really? I'll give you all my money. You know what? I'll give you my San Jose OnlyFans. This subscription's worth $50. Gail, you ain't disposed. Bro. <laughs> he coughing up everything. And he haven't even got to him yet. Homie coughing up everything. Talking about the OnlyFans and all the stuff. Man, he don't care about that. You see this dude with a big ass meat cleaver? And you sitting there here trying to talk about OnlyFans? This dude came for war in a metal suit. He looking, he damn near like, like Iron Man without the flying stuff. You know, like you sitting out here worrying about some OnlyFans. Man, he, OnlyFans what? He ain't even worrying about that. Those are this sorry ass nigga yet? Hey, my bad, OG. I was just about to chop his balls off. So then Shogo ask, yo, where's my homie at? Oh yeah, your home dog that look like Brock. Yeah, young blood, I got you. He right here. <laughs> oh my god. He waiting for you in the gulag right now. Hell yeah. Hey, old nigga, where you going? I want to make a deal for the OnlyFans. Hey, come back. A few moments really? later. Man, hey, yo, bro, where you at? Um, excuse me, nigga. I have. Okay. My thing is, okay. The ghosts are still on his arms and his legs. <laughs> Let's not forget that. <laughs> it's still on him. The name. You see, this is why you and your nigga don't get no head. I, 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 shut up. Nobody cares. Listen, give me that ass. Huh? I can't. <laughs> I can't with him. That is so freaking disrespectful for real. So while this man is choking out the girl to take her powers, Yeldon Hakuro standing outside the tent like, mm, mm, mm. who let him cook? I don't know, Unk, but I tell you this, he ain't cooking shit. So this man Shogo come out the tent, bro got Kuraga now, and he like, yeah, really, really, you ain't cooking shit. Shut up, you fat ass pig! Before I turn you into bacon, nigga. So this man Geld is sick of it at this point. The bro starts walking to him and says, "Before I kill you, I will give you the pleasure of learning my name. I am Geld, but the orc holes in the village love really? to call me Tyro, and that is what you will be calling me after I pound you into a pile of." Shit. And add you to my roster, bitch. <laughs> Shut Damn. up, piggy. Get ready to become a ham and cheese. And get ready to become my son. Oh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Homie can move. This man, Gil, just starts pummeling him into the ground. So then he tells him, Well, look at here. Looks like you turned yourself into an immortal punching bag. Congratulations. You played yourself. Now let's see how long I you know, can right? wait till your MP runs. Please! Shut the fuck up, low ass nigga! Bitch ass, pussy ass, punk ass nigga! Wow! Don't shit out of your dumb ass! Captain D's looking motherfucker! <laughs> he said Captain <laughs> D's. <laughs> Ooh. Please. Don't be saying please <laughs> now. Tell me, boy, what's my name? <laughs> I can hear that. What's my name, nigga? What's his name? Oh, no. That's what I thought. Now hand over Sarah J's OnlyFans. Then you can go join your homie in the gulag. Wow. Oh, okay, here you go. Here you go. Excellent. I wish you luck in the gulag. Oh, my God. No, he did not. Really? This is the Gulag. In here, you fight to win back your life. Dang. 
Ads on YouTube must be so annoying. But with three clicks, you can install an ad blocker and you'll never see ads again. Step one. See, what you just witnessed was a alternate universe. Wow. Bailed out by this level 99,000 ass wizard. But I mean, bro still did take a trip back to the lobby because a level 99,000 wizard took his body. But you want to know who didn't get bailed out? Everybody else. This is Garimaru went on a fire sale. Bro boosted his KD so hard when he killed his whole what? army. He stood over everybody, lined up each shot precisely, and hit him with the... <laughs> What? Oh lord, what the hell is happening? Lord Farquaad the fifth, please calm down, sir. Yes, me lord. With my unique skills. Just like you, that? You should be able to escape the enemy and not get head down. Oh yes, excellent, excellent. Get me the fuck out of here, please. Right away, sir. You're dumb man. Oh lord, we as fuck day is up in a long. So after Rimuru finishes head tapping everybody, he comes down and Rosin starts trying to talk and starts saying, Now you stop right there, you dirty, filthy monster. I shall let you know that the nation of Falmouth and our king, the great Lord Farquaad V, do not negotiate with terrorists. Good, because I didn't come here to negotiate shit. Dumbass. Oh, Lord, please hear us out. Please, please, negotiations. Yes, yes, please don't shoot. Fine, I won't shoot. Yes, you see, uh, would you like to become a territory? No, you, you about to die. Shit, but, uh, it's better to be in enemies, right? Taxes. I don't do W2s, fucker. Wait! We, we, we have TurboTax to help you. <laughs> I'll, I'll even let you get away with tax evasion. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. You wouldn't shoot. Yeah, nigga, I lied. And that's against the law. <laughs> you fucking fed. So after this, Rimuru decide to take everybody else's soul. So he gonna get enough to become a demon lord. But after that, bro started wobbling. Nigga look like he just what? got straight off the henny. So then he ends up summoning this broken ass nigga Diablo. Cause bro is somehow still alive. And dear God, what, what? He did to this man was just an absolute violation. Bro sent a fireball at him. He blew it away. Man summoned a golem. We backhanded that bitch. Then to what? finish him off. This man with this mean ass light skin stare. Alrighty, uh, next up is this big ass Tyrone ass nigga. Just being who is this? I mean, first of all, look at this man's name Charon, Charon. Nigga, that looks like and sounds like Tyrone to me. I mean, look at this big ass nigga pull up behind them. Absolutely Whoa. asserting dominance over the situation. Green it hard. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm looking for a mentally <laughs> unstable woman with pink hair. Is that you by any chance? Uh, maybe. Hey, man, what do you think you're doing, bro? Bro, don't put you your hands on him. <laughs> Dirty ass nigga, touch my goddamn all white geek, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> Lame ass. And see, the thing about it is, it goes real well with what he's talking about. That's why you don't wear white clothes. <laughs> it gets dirty quick. I'm telling you, like, I don't even wear white shirts like that. White t-shirts? No. I I probably, I try to have some colors. I got a yellow on. I got a yellow on. I got a red behind me. I I try to wear a t-shirt other than white. I swear to you, I do. Because it gets dirty quick. Like, any little smudge, a handprint, or anything like no, you, it's a wrap. It's gonna be dirty. <laughs> so I really feel him on that board, but this dude right here. And the, so he starts chasing down Inka and trying to capture her, but then Shinra comes in and hits him with the knee, and bro ain't even move. He ain't and move. He gets up with all this confidence and starts saying, "Hi, my name's Captain Saver Ho Shinra Kusakabe." Oh sir. my god. <laughs> What is going through your mind? You just I know. need a nigga at full speed and he didn't move. He didn't her. move. I'd be worried about my safety and her safety at that point. I mean, exactly. She a lost call. She bat shit crazy. Like, my guy, she don't want to be saved. So, my boy, you walked into this whooping yourself. So then this yes. man Charon said, All right, gang, you want to scrap then? Let's scrap then. Squad. Oh, no. No. Shinra kicks him in the face, but he 
made it. That's it. Oh, so we just gonna kick a nigga in the face during Black History Month. Oh, All right then, nigga. Shit. Step on your lame ass. Oh and my god. Dragging him. Oh my god, Shinra, bro. This is why we do not try to be Captain Saver Hope. Look at the situation you're in. You are fighting oh a nigga god. so strong, the ground is exploding when he walks. But I know some of y'all gonna be saying, What? DJ, he's supposed to be a hero. That's against his morals. Nigga, f your morals. Hey, hey, but people are shit saying right here, though. Ooh. Ain't no way. <laughs> he called a gorilla. <laughs> Black History Month too, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Man, oh my god! So right now, so they both start talking about how they gonna take Inca back with them, but she ends up saying, "Nah, f both of y'all niggas." So he walks over to her and says, "Hey, little girl, you better shut the f up before I slap shit out your little stupid ass." You hurt? Hell no! So later on, while they keep on fighting, Shinra starts finding a way to go find Inca again. But then this man looking at him like, the fuck? <laughs> Where you think you going, Captain Save a Ho? You know what? <laughs> Let me bring your bitch ass back down to Earth. Oh! And jumps into this stratosphere, grabs Bruh and starts slamming him through buildings. God, Are you kidding me? Home insurance. But Dog started flipping himself, but look at him. Hit this landing and hit the smirk. Oh my God. This what? I even forgot to mention this motherfucker's blindfolded. But no, no, look at Shinra. Uh, yeah. So they about to capture her. So he's like, hey, stop right there. She looked at him like this and was saying sh like, fuck off. I don't need your saving ho ass nigga. I live for the streets. I die for the streets. I love the chaos. Leave so her alone, bro. Get a dental appointment with them fuck ass teeth. Ooh. This nigga is crazy. So they started scrapping again. So Shinra kicked her. This he dude. Ate the kick. Chop this oh. nigga. Then bro said, Cut. Oh. Then he Bruh. Him. Oh my God, somebody called CPS. No, 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 no. This is when they got crazy. He has his squad jump him. Like and the like gang that. initiation is this. Then he charges up a Kamehameha and fries this nigga. Are you life. serious? God, look at him, bro. It's like a burnt oh, piece stick. of charcoal. The soul has left his body. But with the power of plot armor, bro somehow got up. So Shiver got in his zone, got his hands right, and said, Fresh start, man. So he ends up hitting the final smash on that nigga. Bro has <sighs> left the stage. So they gotta be Whoa. Thinking, oh, this fight's over. Bro's knocked out, right? Yeah. Nah. Uh, bro gets up and sucks the shit out of this nigga. Damn. Oh, my God. Bro, hit him with a rage art. Look at his body. Uh, it's in the wall. Oh, my God. Hey, but I mean, he got up again just to get told off by Crazy Shawty, then slap in the face once more. So while she walking off with... Damn. Oh. I'm going to tell you this right now. This a whole week knuckle sandwich i do hear me whole week i don't care what you say whole week boy like you getting all your whole grains from that one with the evangelist this man Shinra is so mad bro all beat up his shit in the corner then he started bro you better him, stay like, the hell down fuck. i'm gonna kill you stupid bitch really oh my god you do not know how happy that just Oh my god, that just cut up at the wrong time. Where is everybody? It's made me. What you just said made me so warm and hot inside. <laughs> what? Please try your best. She crazy as shit. Just let a nigga. She gone, bruh. She gone. I know. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. I ain't touched this <laughs> anime in a minute, but. Luffy smacking the shit. Bellamy. Oh, oh Lord. man, this is one of the he's most he's saving the best for last. That was done with absolutely no effort. So the straw has pulled up in Jaya, and they end up running into the Bellamy okay. pirates, being some damn dickheads. Look at this motherfucker. Bro looked at Luffy and said, "Boy, if you don't get your dirty ass out of my face, here, take some money, nigga. Get your drip up, nigga. Trash ass with them worn out jeans and them busted ass sandals." Wait, hold on. You ain't lying. You get your ass over here. Yes, Bro. So then later on, they're at the bar <laughs> and they meet Bellamy. So bro walk up in there like, oh, so you're the guy worth 30 million. Who the fuck's this guy? I don't know. 
but he looks like a minority. Oh Lord, here we go. Offers Luffy a drink, but he slams his face into the counter. So then he ends up just starting to beat him. The whole bar start really, and then they just started jumping him. But the thing is, they wasn't doing nothing because they ain't give a fuck. They ain't give a fuck about the nigga till they ran up and stole the gold that they needed. So then later that night, this dude runs up in the bar and he's saying, Bail me! You need to get the fuck out of here now! What are you talking about with your ugly ass? Them two dudes that you beat up, them dudes is him a fit. <laughs> but then all these dudes end up realizing, dude's bounty ain't no 30 mil, they ain't get the new patch notes. Bro, shit was 100 <laughs> mil, them niggas was speechless. Then bro saying, b -b -b bail me! You best get the stamping. You best hope he doesn't come get his get back. Man, he ain't gonna do shit. Honey mail my ass. <laughs> they is pussy. You know what? No, <laughs> You're right. We, we shouldn't be scared of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. There you go. I, I, I tried to warn you, Melvin. He called him with his chest. So this man Bellamy walk outside and he see Luffy standing on top of this tower looking like he Batman or something. So then bro uses <laughs> this goofy ah uh, devil fruit, bro. I cannot stand this fucking fruit at all, dog. Bro look like a <laughs> slinky dog with this shit. So Bellamy's like, <laughs> so he came to get your get back. Nah, I mean, not for real. I just need to go. I don't give a fuck about your dumb ass. So they start fighting and this man Bellamy looks like he's actually him. With this slinky dog, machillin' man ass fruit. So this man Luffy falls all the way down. Why this man Bellamy talking shit and his whole crew in the background talking like, Yeah, that's right. Finish his trash ass. Yeah, that's right. Bum ass nigga. So then this man Bellamy uses spring hopper hopping around like an uncontrollable idiot. Bro looking like what a the hell? Eat on Flintstone gummies. And Luffy's just standing there like, sick of this shit. So our bros hopping around, bro asked him, gah, 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 gah. Do you even know how to throw a punch? Gah, 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 gah. So this man, Luffy, lifts up his hand and says, So you want to know if I can throw a punch, right? Alright then. Oh, Lord, here we go. Dang. Bro punched the dog water out of him, flattened his stupid ass for everybody to see, and just nonchalantly puts back his hat on. Oh, no, bro. Dog hit him with the nigga, Ooh. you ain't shit. And look at his crew. They looking like, hey, bro, you you good? D this a fluke, right? Nigga, get your ass up. No, nah, he gone. He, was out he got knuckle he prints inside everything. of his face. He better get ready for some dentures. Bro got knocked it's out so bad he ain't even wake up till we got to dress Rosa. Wow. Bro, like I'm definitely coming back for the other parts. Oh my god, like I swear to you, that's like the most entertaining video I've ever seen. And I, oh my god, yo. Yeah, they they truly are disrespectful in the in these animes. I swear to you they are. But the one um Caron, yeah. Bruh. That one in the middle, he had nothing but knuckle sandwiches and all that. Bruh. Ah. <sighs> Woo. All right. If you're new, thank you for subscribing. If you are just contemplating about whether subscribing, please do. I'm going to have more of these videos coming out as time go past. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out my gaming channel. Make sure you comment on what video you want me to react to. You know, do as you wish. Till next time, I'm out this thing.